Mr. President, for decades, the people of Dagban have suffered from, from the age-old debilitating Abu Dhabi conflict. This has occasioned underdevelopment. It tore families apart. It turned brothers against brothers, sisters against sisters, fathers against children, and indeed converted friends into fools. Mr. President, this conflict over the years has damaged properties in all parts of Dagbo. It compromised our culture and eroded our dignity as a people. It has caused us loss of precious lives. This conflict has outlived numerous presidents and governments. Mr. President, this afternoon we are here to thank you. Your Excellency, we thank you for your courage. We thank you for your sense of fairness. We thank you for your bold vision for Dagbang and Ghana. We are truly grateful for your distinguished exemplary leadership. Mr. President, the performance of the funeral of the late overlord of Dagbang, now Muhammad Abdullahi, has indeed lifted the dark clouds that has been hanging over Dagbang at Dagombes everywhere they are, and it is our conviction that a truly lasting and enduring peace, unity, genuine reconciliation will follow. We are committed to achieving the, this peace, and we continue to offer a hand of brotherhood and friendship to our brothers, the Andanis. This funeral marks a significant milestone in the effort towards finding a lasting peace for the good people of Dagon. In conclusion, Mr. President, we wish to assure you that we stand for peace, unity, genuine reconciliation, development and advancement of Dagbang, and we stand in readiness to support your government towards finding a lasting peace. Oh. I'm very happy about this visit, especially because of the joyful nature of the news that you bring with you. We have to thank the Almighty God that at long last the funeral rites of the late Yamna Muhammad Abdullah has been duly performed with all the customary rites that are due to him as a Yamna. We're all aware that this matter has been outstanding for far too long and has been a source of much of the tension that has bedeviled the life of Dabo in these last decades. So we're grateful to the Almighty that today he has allowed us to cross that bridge and that the funeral of the late Yana Muhammad Abdullah has been performed. I'd like you to use the occasion also to thank the committee of eminent chiefs led by the Asantehene Otufu or Seitu II, with the Nairi and the Yabunra, for the work they have done, their persistence, their determination, their tenacity in bringing about this conclusion. It is also obvious that without the sacrifices that the leaders of the two royal families, Abudu and Andani, made, this occasion would not have also come about in the way in which it has done. So I want to salute you. Bolin Lana, Badugu, the leaders of the Abudu royal family, I want to salute you for your sense of statesmanship and patriotism and commitment to the peace and welfare of Dagon that has brought us to where we are. Now we have to look forward to make sure that what has been constructed now becomes permanent. 
were looking for the performance of the funeral of the late Yana Yakubu Andani, after which, according to the customs, the laws of Dagmar, a new Yana will be selected. And that process should bring us to a situation where now all hands, Abudu and Dani, all hands in Dagbon will, be, will come on board and work towards lifting up the image of, the, of Dagbon and bringing progress and prosperity to the area. That's the big task ahead of everybody. And for that, the regent and all of you, you have a very big role to play in the future of Dagbon. Office, who will be what, who will be what, all that is always in the hands of the Almighty. We want to bring everybody together so that we can begin a new page in the history of Dagbon and of our country. I'm happy and grateful for your visit here and very, very happy about the message that you have brought to us. Thank you, and may God bless you all.